Only five days to go until the opening of Sidetrack's Board Game Club. We've got all the games on the shelves and they're ready to go. Today what I want to do is give you a little overview of our collection so you can see all the different games you have to choose from when you get here. And also so you have a little idea of how things will work once you come into play. One of the things you'll notice when you come into Sidetracks is that all of our board games are organized into columns and rows. The columns are labeled with letters and the rows are labeled with numbers. That way if you're looking for a particular game, we can direct you to the right shelf and help you find what you're looking for. The games are also organized in general categories. So on the left here, starting with A1 and going through roughly column D, are, tend to be lightweight strategy games, entry level games, things that are great to just be able to pick off the shelf and with a little help from us, we can help get you going in five or 10 minutes. These are the games that I often recommend because to me they're a lot of fun and they're not too difficult to learn. As you move on to the right, you start to get a little bit more difficult and a little bit deeper strategy. So these are games, if you're looking to spend a day, maybe you've got a, a cold winter day and you really want to dive into something and you're willing to devote two or three hours, these are tend to be a little bit deeper games and a little bit more thick on strategy, but also a little bit deeper learning curve. To help you when you're selecting a game, each game in the library will have a sticker, either green, yellow, or red. The green stickers are the games that tend to be a little bit easier to learn and don't take very long to play. Yellow stickers are sort of in that medium range. And then the pink stickers are the ones that take a little bit more time to learn and a little bit longer to play. And then here in column H, you'll find a lot of cooperative games. Cooperative games are those where you work together as a team with the people you're playing with and you try to beat the game rather than compete against each other. And then along the tops of our shelves, on both sections, you'll find more classic games in the old Monopoly size boxes, the long flat boxes that are hard to store in these square calyx shelves. On the other shelves, closer to the front door, you'll find party games, kids games, and trivia. We've left a few shelves open because we're hoping to add new games monthly to the collection. That way, every time you come in, you have different things to choose from. And again, up top, you'll find the classic games like Monopoly, Stratego, Chess. Tumbling Dice, highly recommended, a super fun party game. One of the things we just got finished doing last night is organizing our small box card games. For years, this has sort of given me heartburn because all these little tiny games, they come in these small boxes and there's not a great way to store them. So I found this little hack online where I actually took them out of the boxes and put them into these little plastic containers. And so everything you need to play the game is in here. The rules, the cards. So this is a great way for us to store a whole bunch of small card games in one spot. And if you're looking for a particular game, we can look it up in our database and we can tell you where it's at. Once you're done playing the games, we ask you to bring them back up front. We'll double check them, make sure everything's put back right, and then we'll put them away on the shelf for you and you can just go pick out another game to play. So whether you're a huge gamer or not really a gamer at all, I guarantee you, you'll be able to find something on our shelves that'll interest you. We hope you'll come on down and explore the library here at Sidetracks and have a good time. See ya.